Rolling, rolling, rolling. Hey guys, we're back with my very interested people. Precious angel. So I am really looking for default behaviors. Don't let anything happen to my glasses. Look at actual pocket. So what I'm also thinking of though, more than anything, and if people only thought of it this way, if you only thought of the pager as being an on-leash tool, I would honestly rather have that. If somebody said, well, it really only works mm -hmm. on the leash, I get well, at least you're taking advantage of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because that's true, and that's what people aren't getting. They're getting that, and I'm going to tell you, this dog is not as much, you know, she is looking to see what I'm doing, but she's not checks and balances like these other ones are with the leash. So once I've got it on there, I am very deliberate. And I do want the I do want the box on this side. And she wasn't checks and balances at all. And what I mean is really just looking back at, oh, you precious angel. You know, looking back, they've got to have that kind of faith in you. You know, if Summer starts straightening my collar or something because it's messed up because she's the wardrobe person too, I don't go, what the, what are you doing? I had to, no, I do that sometimes. <laughs> No, you're good she about it. You're pretty tag. good about that. No, this is what she goes, oh, you're texting now. I like the tag. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. just something I make up because I'm so touchy. You know, and that's what they are. I'm trying to straighten their tag. I did, I like it. My I tag. did it on purpose. Right, but what I'm trying to say to myself is this is a pager leash. It's a pager leash. And yes, yeah, she did get in the mud. All right, so I'm <laughs> going to, she's watching anything I'm going to do. In her mind, and that, I want you guys to understand that, that got established by accident and very early on that downing would get me what I wanted. So she was really, and not, I'm not saying she won't still jump because she will, but I, I'm not correcting it. All right, so I'm gonna use my pager leash to get her going. Mila, yay. If you say you're holding the leash like a rudder, I would say absolutely. That's what I'm doing. You know, he's not out there to clean up the grass, too. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm holding the leash and the remote, you know, and that's where I need the that's where I need the finger kick because this thing is too obvious. If you said what is better than this, I would say a, a less obvious remote. It would be better than this. And what's worse than this? Every other method. I don't want to say worse. What's not better than this? Every other method. All right, watch. So it's a page or leash. So it's all going to act in conjunction. The collar, the leash, my hand, the voice. Nilla. Let her know. Yay! Yay! I'm going to turn her heel. What I'm doing all through, I am adding, Nilla, I am adding a little extra flare on that turn. Oh, you precious, precious angel. And I want you to watch. I'm, I'm making, I'm making, what I think I'm doing is making the turn a little bit more than a 180. So let me just show you. No. Just a little bit more. Just put a sweet little spin on there. So much. And I may be shooting myself in the foot. No, I'll tell you where she's headed back for the treats. But I buffered that. If you said you didn't buffer that, I'd say I'm using my leash as a rudder. And I want you to understand. I want to have a certain, it is very important with a dog like this, because you guys have seen these handlers come and people just, I'm 
sure you've seen regular owners handling their dogs and stuff. It's very painful. It's very painful. It's almost like if you just put skates on them, crash this dummy and sort of pushed it along. <laughs> That's how interactive they are. <laughs> If you just put them on a track and sort of put, am I wrong? Or you just made fun. the feet move a little. And I don't want to do that too much because I'm going to tell you, I'm very, very against it. And, and there's something I've seen on YouTube now that really bothers me that I feel falls into the um, category of the handler acting erratically, taking a puppy like this and then throwing just buckets of tennis balls or they'll have five or six of them downing and just throwing balls everywhere with these yes, maniacal yes. looks on their face and the looks on these dogs faces is painful and if you said and because that falls into the handler acting erratically because if you said to me we're using that as a drill to teach a dog to be steady to retrieve my answer would be that's not how they do it all right look so, uh, brock and trish are like who cares uh but anyway that's that i would never do that i saw that i haven't seen it for a long time but you can go on there and find pictures, videos of older chairs. You're sitting there and they're just throwing all these tennis balls over their head. Yeah, letting them well, have them. Well, no, that's part of the, that's yeah. the distraction. So yeah. that later when they start throwing tennis balls, they don't want the dog to go get it. It won't. All right, Brilliant. so look, I'm using, she's watching everything I'm doing. And what I want you guys to understand, the difference between this dog, and I, I caused that with my behavior, is I've started teaching it to speak young. A lot of these older dogs, you're just teaching them to speak older. And if you said you're counting on this pager as some type of enigma machine, I would say absolutely, absolutely. Because if these things aren't an enigma, why can your average person not let a dog loose? I'll tell you why, because they have a dysfunctional relationship. If, if the relationship with the person was you couldn't take them out in public unless they had a leash on, they'd run away from you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Let's take them out. Let's take them out. Well, I, yeah, I mean, what would happen? I mean, you know, the, how would that be viewed? I remember what I was working on the other day, though, was to get her downing with the pager. But right now, we're kind of working on the. She's watching both hands because she understands. The, as far as I'm concerned, the left hand does know what the right hand's doing. They're working in conjunction. So watch, Mila. So this hand is indicating. This hand is indicating that we're not going. That nothing. It, it's indicate. Let's just say it's indicating a tempo or a cadence. All right, watch. Heel. And I'm and I'm fiddling right now, but I'm making up the cage with this one. I need to get this one back in play as soon as possible. Yay. Yay. So you see what I mean about that spin? I may be getting myself in trouble with that. But I'm just adding a lot of momentum on that turn. Watch. Feel. All right, now I'm, I'm already speaking with my hands. Let me see what I can get going on here, down. Precious angel. Precious angel. And look at my back leg. I need it better than that. Okay. Precious angel. Precious angel. If you remember, I just started that the other day. that's going to come in handy later if I want to rudder this way. And I don't. I don't want to do that right now because that's what I'm working on. All right, watch. She's watching this hand. The hand, everything, it's all going to down. You precious angel. I'll tell you how she's doing. She's doing absolutely perfect. Bye, guys.